It's your boy, Uchi Visuals. You hit live with us on the Lazy U Show. And my special guest, right here, Will Nice 500. You already know what it is, what's dripping. <laughs> Tell them that, you know. So today, what we're gonna be doing, of course, you know, we got our smokes, great weed, of course, medical choices. Uh, we got the Valley OG, and we got some Wi Fi OG. What you got going on over there? This young Sherbert right here, man. We got the sherbet going on, so we Thank definitely finna get out of to. And I brought a nice little treat this time. Got the uh, old fashioned Rice Krispie treat. 150 uh, milligrams. Definitely gonna put you on your ass. But we here today with Woe. Like I said, come just discuss a few common topics, see what he got going on with us campaign and everything that he got going on as far as his music and things and what he got going on outside of Phoenix. So uh, to start the conversation off, see what you rolling up? Is that a back wood? Yeah, it's a wood right here, man. Okay. You know, wood. You know, ain't no flavor to it if you got that gas. Shout out backwoods. Shout out backwoods. Let me see that pack. I'm going to go ahead and roll up one, two. That works. So to uh, start this off the right way, uh, what, you got, what you got going on right now? Man. Well, right now, I actually, uh, you call me on a good day, bro. I got a, I got a photo shoot I got to go take care of, plus a video, you know what I'm saying, that gets my publishers for uh, this little shit she got going on for me out of town. I can't really say too much because it's not set in stone yet, but it's, it's something going on, you know what I mean? Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm, yeah. About to, I'm not going to say redrop or repush, but I'm about to continue what I started for as me versus self campaign. Okay, you know what okay. I mean? I got visuals that I ain't dropped yet, you know what I'm saying? I got... Songs that I ain't dropped yet as far as like what's new. You know what I mean? I got a lot of different shit going on, bro. I'm on this 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 uh this acting shit as far as this modeling shit, you know what I mean? Just got plugged in with some shit like that. So, you know, I'm just moving how I move, man, real low key, real slow. Okay. So that means that you just you just bouncing everything. You ain't yeah. you ain't missing nothing. You going from acting, you on the yeah, that's rapping, you doing you know? Yeah, whatever come my way, man, it's like Basically, different little blessings, you know what I'm saying? That's coming as I'm going. You feel me? So I'm trying to tackle everything. I mean, I ain't gonna just, you know, make myself do one thing if I'm good at everything. You know what I'm saying? So, shit, I'm gonna go ahead and touch everything. You whatever can give me a bag, I need. <laughs> definitely, yeah. definitely. You know, I try to put my hands in every cookie jar I can too. Right. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shout out Jim Jones, Vamp Life. Got on this fit today. Yeah. Definitely, shout out to them, man. My boys and them, and we showing a little love on my grandma, be peeping them. But um, so I, I see you got speaking of clothing. I be seeing that you be posting a lot of love. You know that, that like your hat, yeah, that, the SSU. Yeah, what, the what's SSU. that stand for? That Salt Splash University, SSU. You know what I mean? And uh, that right there speaks for itself. It's more, it's more like a lifestyle than just a brand. You know what I mean? Sauce and the dripping is more than just you know just just saying you sauce and the dripping is more like a, more like a, a lifestyle, bro. You feel me? You know what? But yeah, you know like I said, that's more like a lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it started off with something small. I ain't gonna lie to you. It started off with you know just something real real small. So I took it to H Town and uh, I found out that, that was Splash Town. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you know I linked up with the real sauce. And they fucked around and gave me the blessing. I didn't know nothing about it, you know what I'm saying? Until I actually linked up with them. And uh, you know, they put me on with it with the real sauce and the real splash dude. So shit, they took some of my merchandise, they fucked with me, you know what I'm saying? I rocked them for a few weeks and shit just made it official, you feel me? So they fucked with me heavy, you know what I mean? So I push it, I push it on on my wave and as far as the blessing that I got gave me, you feel me? So definitely. I be seeing, and I see that you got a couple industry, you know, features and, and visuals. Uh, like uh, you got one out right now with uh, Trey the True. Yeah, that video I ain't dropped yet. That's actually gonna drop this week. I got that with Trey. Uh, that Philly Flyboy shot that. If y'all know who that is, you need to do your homework. Philly Flyboy, one of the hottest directors out here, man, for real. He shoot everybody videos. You know what I'm saying? Ti, Trey, all them niggas. You see what I'm saying? So the Mozzies and the, the the real cats like Snoop, everybody he shoot everybody videos. So. I was able to catch Mozzie actually while they were shooting the movie. You know what I'm saying? Nobody really know nothing about that, what's going on. But I ain't gonna say too much about that. But I caught them in the middle of actually shooting in the trap, you feel me? So I got a cool ass, 
You know what I mean? A cool ass little plug on them. Okay, okay. I seen I seen the little uh, like it was like a, a little vlog or something. Y'all was in the studio. Yeah, yeah we did that little, little little studio. It was more like a more like in live in studio. What we got going on? Okay. Live in studio session. So where where you where you based from? Are you from Phoenix? Yeah, I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. Okay. Like, uh, Eric, Avenues. Okay. And do you have uh, like do you have a, a lot of shows and stuff out there? Do you go outside? Like I mean, you take it outside as, of things. As far as shows out here, man, I I kind of I kind of told myself I'm not doing nothing else. You know what I'm saying? Like out here, just they don't believe in really paying you. You feel me? They want you to to work more than they want to actually. You know what I'm saying? Give a nigga a blessing. You feel me? So it's I'm not. I look at myself as a brand, bro, and I'm, I'm gonna be treated as that, you know what I'm saying? So, most people that's doing these shows, they don't respect the artist, you feel me? So, me personally, I'm at a level to where I just feel like I'm not, I'm, I can't be doing stuff for free, you know what I'm saying? Or I can't be just giving people my talent, my raw talent, and what I could bring to the table, you know what I'm saying? Just for free. I've been doing it for too long, so as far as shows out here, if it ain't nothing that's really beneficial, I ain't really looking into it, you know what I'm saying? I did the RJ show just based off of love, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, Wanted to, wanted to see what else they could, I mean, what, what niggas could offer you. I mean, it's really just the same shit, though. It ain't really, it ain't really nothing. Ain't nothing changed, you know what I'm saying? It took for me to leave for me to see what's really different, you feel me? So I don't have no interest in just doing shows for niggas for free. Okay, okay, okay. Now, as far as you rapping and, you know, with your platform that you got right now, the whole SSU movement and things yeah. like that, had that opened up any other doors? I know you said earlier that you got some acting and stuff going on. Yeah, um, that actually it, it did open up a lot of different doors, man. I'm uh I'm trying to solidify a team of women, you know what I'm saying, and uh, just a team in general, bro. Cause really, like I said, I I started this shit myself, and I'm really the only one really pushing the wave. It's hard. It's me and my bros, you know what I'm saying. Uh, I sold out all my shirts as far as what I had and you know stuff like that. But as far as opportunities being opened up, that's a definite, you know what I mean. So the brand, the brand comes with me. I'm trying to focus more on my music and the brand just coming with that, you know what I'm saying? So it's it's opening up doors as far as like opportunities with modeling and shit like that, because I got people that wanna that wanna rock with it. You know what I'm saying? That actually hit me up for the merchandise and females that wanna rock the clothes. I had a few pair of shorts and all that shit, you know what I'm saying? I just gotta get back up on it. Okay, okay. So where can they find any of your music or any of your merchandise? Do you have a website? My yeah. website's being done right now. Okay. My website's being finished right now. It's actually, that's what I'm doing with the, the shoot for it today. So she can finish my place, she can finish my website and all that and get everything up and running. But as far as the music shit, that's everywhere. iTunes, Google Play, YouTube, SoundCloud, wherever you listen to music that you can find my music. So y'all here on first, folks. Y'all go ahead and go to iTunes, go to uh, YouTube, SoundCloud, all your music sources that y'all listen to right now. Find him, whoa, nice 500. Y'all go ahead and check that out. Yeah, so uh, okay, okay. So, right now, as far as you know, Halloween coming up and all of this, this Trump stuff that's going on, how, how, has it been kind of tough to like do shows or has mm -hmm. it been tough to book things? I'm not gonna lie to you, I really I try not to get too much into what the what they got going on, <laughs> this government shit. I ain't really a conspiracy theorist, you feel me? I just, I watch the shit as it play out, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's already known what's gonna happen, so I try not to get too much into that, you know what I mean? But as far as it stopping my, stopping my drip, it don't stop nothing that I got going on. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm moving my pace, you feel me? Like, that's not, that's not affecting me at all. Have you encountered any, any type of, uh, what do they call itself? White supremacists and Nazis and stuff like that? Nah, bro. I, I ain't not blunt, not blatant. I ain't, I ain't came across no blatant white supremacists and no white folks that's got enough nuts to come at me sideways and say nothing out of pocket. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Like it ain't. It has an effect. I'm not saying it hasn't affected me for the long. It's gonna affect us. It's gonna affect us in the long run. But as far as it just affecting me right now, it ain't really. You know. Okay. I'm scared for my kids, and I ain't worried about me. <laughs> Be real with you. I'm not worried about me. Now, 
With the whole thing that just went down in Vegas, condolences to everybody that lost a family member or a friend or anything Thanks. to the Vegas situation. But how do you feel about that? Do you do you feel like that was something that was set up? Do you feel like that was something that, like... Honestly, it's so many mixed opinions and mixed stories. And, you know, they got the internet now, so you could edit pictures and videos. You can make fake posts and do all type of different stuff. And we... We going off of what the news and what the internet tells us, you feel me? So it's hard to give a, 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 a solid opinion on that, you know what I mean? All I do know is, is that every time one event is going on and then it start to get old, something else happened. We was just on the Connecticut Jenkins shit. I ain't heard nothing about that since this shit happened. As far as everybody, you know what I'm saying? Everybody posting and everybody looking, trying to be detectives and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Now everybody detecting on what's going on in Vegas. That situation is just blown over. So honestly, I look at it two ways, bro. It's like the first way I look at it, I feel like a lot of this shit is planned. A lot of this shit is government, you know what I mean? Like government training, you feel me? So I don't know. But the other way is people is still really dying while this shit going on. So you can't just look at it like, oh, it's it's his fate. It might be set up to be looked at as a real situation. It could be set up for stage or whatever. People is really dying. So it's 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 messed up. You know what I mean? But the way I look at it, bro, I feel like the government got a lot to do with everything bad that's going on, you feel me? They not, they gonna tell us if they want us to know or not what we need to know, you know what I'm saying? I feel what I feel. Now, as far as music-wise, who, what artists do you say? Do you say you can either compare yourself to or that, and that you are listening to right now? Right now? Who are some artists that I mean, you listen to right now that you can... Say that y'all on the same level, or that you uh, just say you fucks with their wave. I mean, as far as all right, well, if you speak at wave, you know what I'm saying? Just wave comparisons as far as me being able to relate. I fuck with the Sauce Twins, I fuck with Nipsey, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with Kendrick on a lyrical, more more life level, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not just one type of artist, you feel me? I talk about life shit, you know what I'm saying? I got the, the club music. I can give you what you want as long as you don't listen, you feel what I'm saying? And, uh, that's just really what it is for me, man. That really, like, I got a, a lane that I'm in, but I fuck with a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? But my main artists that I listen to, Sauce Twins, Nipsey Hussle, uh, I, I rock with Kendrick. And as far as, like, the Lil Yachty and stuff, I listen to them just to get my get my groove. You know what I'm saying? The vibe and stuff. I don't like nobody music. Okay, so I listen to Nipsey. I fuck with Nipsey a long way. Mm -hmm. My favorite one right now that I keep that I keep going back to is... uh. Uh, I think it's the marathon. Right. That, that with the red cover or whatever. That yeah. one. And then I fuck with Slauson Boys too. Or well, Slauson Boys. Yeah, I think it's Slauson Boys too. That's it. This one, his latest one just went crazy. He got Dave East and all the ones that shit going. Right, right. Yeah, Dave East, is, Dave East is nice, man. He came out He came out the blue. Yeah. The first I, thing I heard of him, I think it was the, uh, the little story when he got set up by the female. Yeah, he got, he got some, Dave, he's definitely got some shit going on. He, he real lyrical with his shit. He like a, I wouldn't want to say like a boom pap rapper, like the East Coast boom pap rapper. You know what I'm saying? But he, he definitely is a, a storyteller. Right. So would you consider yourself a storyteller with your raps or would you say you feel amongst the lines like a mumble rapper? No, I, I, I never mumble. I never mumble in my life. <laughs> I've never mumble rap. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't get it twisted. Like, I can take... I could take the swing, you know what I mean? I could take the vibe and you know what I mean, I could take the drip and put it on, on how I and how I saw shit, you know what I'm saying? I don't never just put words together and nah bro, I gotta actually make sense. I they gotta be able to understand me. You know what I'm saying? It depends on the beat. The beat make me feel whatever comes out of my mouth, you know what I'm saying? So if I get to bopping, I'm finna I'm, I'm gonna get to bopping and that's how my music gonna feel, it's gonna it's gonna go off that way, but it just depends on what kind of beat I rock to. Like I said, I don't, I don't just put myself in one kind of category. So if you give me a, a beat that I can feel some light shit on, the first thing coming to my head is some light shit. That's what I'm going to spit. And it's to a point now to where I don't even like to write no more. I be having so much shit coming to my head so fast. I do it. I do what Wayne used to do. What he probably still do. You know what I'm saying? Spit a few bars and let some more come. You know what I mean? Okay. So it, it be kind of hard to write now, bro. So much be coming to my head. You know what I mean? But I'm not a mumble rapper. I am. A, I do storytell a lot, a whole lot. You feel me? So I'm just, I'm like a Kendrick, bro. I can give you what you want. <laughs> I can yeah. give you everything you want. You now, know what I'm saying? 
Uh, I was I was recently looking at some of your music, looking at some some of your videos and stuff that you got out right now. Yeah. And I see that you have lost a family member. Yeah, and yeah. I made a song for a yeah. family member. Uh, I think it was a female. Casimir, yeah, my niece. That was my niece. And uh, yeah, that happened. I was that was real crazy. That happened right before five days before her birthday and like a few weeks before mine. You know what I'm saying? I was actually just fresh from. Fresh from Houston when it happened, I was still in the hotel and everything. You know what I'm saying? So the, that kind of that kind of switched my whole game plan around as far as what I was supposed to be doing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, when it happened, I had a show that was coming up and everything. I had brought uh, Train the Truth out here. I brought the Soft Twins out here, um, and it was just a, a, a huge ass event. It was for my album release and everything like that. She passed away right before that, so it kind of put a dent in everything. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I had made a song. Shot a video for it. Had everybody like everybody just showing love. It was it was really just more like a uh, what you want to call it. What's the word I'm looking for? Like a tribute. Okay. More like a tribute. You know what I'm saying? So I right, seen the right. video and it kind of kind of touched because you was you were storytelling. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Facts. You had a, a nice little story <laughs> with it. Yeah, you had a lot of people out. So that was my next thing I was gonna ask you. Cause when I seen that video, you had so many people out. Now, are those people that was out there? Do they really support your music? Do they? Do you got a nice fan base here at home? Or at home, I'm gonna put it to you like this. At home, I got, I got people who show genuine love, and I got people who show fake love. You know what I'm saying? But I know how to separate the two. It's, it was more like you know, people that was coming to support for the for the situation that happened. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it's sad to take. Some, you know, some stuff like that to happen for people to come together like that, but that's what that was. I'm so family-ish, more like just showing love. But like I said, as far as the city go, I got my select few people that show love. You know what I'm saying? Of course, the family gonna support. Uh, I got a few other people that that rock with me and support as well. You know what I mean? But it's not as big as it should be. It's more competition, and you know what I mean? More than more than it is love. You know what I'm saying? And okay, trying to. Be like, okay, we got Whoa rocking for the city. He didn't did this, he didn't did that, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was it ain't that kind of love, you feel me? And I'm I'm not no I used to be like real, real humble, you know what I'm saying, and just kinda quiet, you feel me, on the scene. But I'm to a point now, bro, to where like shit, the respect that I deserve ain't being given, you feel me? So I'm taking what I want whether they like it or not. So I'm not in competition with the city, but I'm just not gonna be faking that like the city just fuck with me, you feel me? We not we not one of them states where niggas really support each other like that. Everybody in competition, because we don't got enough listeners, everybody wanna be a rapper, you feel me? So to that question, you know, without it being like somebody, you know I mean, close to me, I got a handful of people that rock for me, but out of town, I get love. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I get love elsewhere. And I'm cool with that. Okay, now with you being a rapper and traveling and everything, and I know you smoke, of course. Right. So, what would you say is your favorite strain of weed? We are gonna talk about some weed. What, 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 what type of weed like is a, a definite? Like every time you go somewhere, definite, you just gotta have it. Platinum cookies, dog. You platinum got that? Cookies. It's that one taste, bro. I can't even explain the taste. It's just that one taste. It just how you like. Like this is that guy, you feel me? That and that sour diesel. You know what I mean? And if you want to get real exotic, I fuck. I, I love moon rocks. You know what I'm saying? If you want to get real exotic, I love moon rocks. Definitely. Okay. Okay. You see, I like to stay with some OG. You know what I'm saying? It's just something about the taste of OG that just. Yeah, yeah. It just. You can't never go wrong with OG. Yeah, like it's, you know, it's just, it's just that, that potency, and then it just, it tastes so good. Like that shit just be tasting like steak. <laughs> Like, uh, I had to, like, when I went to Cali, like, I like going to Cali. Shout out California, everybody That's from me. California, for sure, Colorado. Sure. I like y'all, I fucks with y'all a long way. Now, the reason why I say that is because I, right, first off, young Dolph, you know what I'm saying? Uh, good, get well soon, hope you, everything okay with Thanks. him and everything. Definitely. But, uh, he be talking about that gelato, gelato shit all the time. So me, I was like, shit, you know what I'm saying? Let me see, cause he talking about that's all he smoked. So I'm like, shit, let me let me go out here. You know what I'm saying? Cause I knew Cali had it, it wasn't yeah. out there in Arizona. So 
You know what I'm saying? When I'm in Cali, I, I always, you know what I'm saying? I, I, first time I went out there, I'm like, let me get some gelato. So I went out to the dispensary or whatever, and I went to go taste it. Man, when I said that gelato is something different, like when you want to say exotic, that shit is like, you know? Like, yeah. It's, 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 look, if y'all ain't had it, y'all need to go get that shit. That shit definitely do something different. You know what I'm saying? It tastes like, nigga, I don't even know. You hear me? It's, <laughs> some, it's like a, it's like smoking a fruit roll up. You know what I'm saying? That shit is, it got a, it's like a, a OG ass fruit roll like a, I don't even know how to explain it, bro. It's like a pine ass fruit roll up. That, it, that it, shit it, it tastes good. That's all you need. You know what I'm saying? That, so when I go to Cali, that's all I gotta smoke like that and some OG. Yeah. But as far as like my favorite weed, like specific, it would have to be the Valley OG. Yeah, that Valley, yeah, that should be. Because cool. which is what what I got rolled up in this thing yeah, right here. It's, it's some power. It's definitely some power. This shit, it just it's a different taste. It's hella sticky and more so. Go to your neighborhood dispensaries and see if they got the Valley OG. This one came from Nirvana in Arizona, 35th Avenue and Van Buren. Shout out to them. They definitely got the fresh, fresh weed. Fresh, I'm talking about, like they got yeah, their plant shit. in the back. Like they got their plants <laughs> in the back, greenhouse in the back room or something. That shit perfect. Now, do you just smoke backwoods? Or do you smoke nah, guns nah, and shit like that? Nah, you know you can't catch you can't catch some stores on the late night, so I I cop a pack of switches quick pass it in a hurry. Other than that, I sit back with the switches for me. Okay. Shout out my man Dizzy G, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. This this cat right here, bro. He know he know I smoke woods, he know I smoke switches. He go he comes with packs of uh raw papers. He rolled in raw papers that have boy gas. I ain't gonna lie to you. It be I be gassing, but I'm just I like what I like. Yeah, so shout out to DG though. He tried to get me, but I'm gonna stick to these woods though. You know what I'm talking about? Nah, it's the I shout out to Wiz Khalifa and them for that raw shit and all of them. The makers of raw, you know what I'm saying? I fuss with the raws. It's just they too thin for me, and I got big ass hands, so I can't really like maybe I don't. Tuck, you know what I'm saying? I can't really, you know. Yeah, so yeah. when I do fuck with the raws, I be getting them little cone things to fill them up. Yeah, so, I, I, like, I like I like getting the big ones though. I'm gonna get a raw guy. If I'm gonna get a pre roll, you gotta be that big guy that's gonna last. I ain't gonna keep stuffing. I'm gonna just get that big one and I'm gonna smoke till I, you know what I'm saying? Smoke till I'm done. You know what I'm saying? That's the best way to do it. Now, right now, well, you know, 2017, you got your Uzis, you got your Lil Yachty's, mm -hmm. you got your, you know what I'm saying? Court Dave East, Nips Hustle, G Herbos, and shit like that. Mm -hmm. So, what artists do you listen to? Like, when you get in the car, you pop them on, pop it on, get going. To be real with you, like I said, when I'm in the when I'm in the car, unless I'm in my thinking zone or something, I like to ride and have energy. You feel me? So I might go to like a you know when you go like to YouTube or SoundCloud or something like that, you type in one person name, it give you music that's like that. So you I'll be listening to to the Uzis and the and the Yachty's. Don't get me wrong, like I. I'm not a mumble rapper, I don't got nothing against it, you feel me? It's the new wave, you know what I'm saying? That's just gotta be respected, you know what I'm saying? So, I, li I like the little yabbies and the, the, the Uzis, you feel me? Like, not on some they're not lyricists, you know what I'm saying? They they, they rappers, you feel me? To me, it's, it's a difference when you break it down, we're not gonna get into that unless you want to. But, if you can't I, go, I, in, a quick, in a quick description, what? What's the difference between, as you said, just a rapper and then... I mean, because any, cause, cause anybody could rap, bro. Anybody could, could put some words together and make it rhyme. You know what I'm talking about? Anybody could make a little rap. When we was kids, we, we would say anything and call it our little rap. You oh, feel what I'm saying? Oh, shit, we, I got some... I got some shit on my yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And then, <laughs> hey, <laughs> shout out... And then, <laughs> shout out A.B. Rastafarian. That's my little brother. Hey, look. Hey. He, he always... Wanted to rap even when he was little. Yeah. His favorite rapper. I, I, I'm gonna put you out there real quick, bro. <laughs> His favorite rapper when we were short was DMX on no phone. Yeah, hey man, you can't go wrong. <laughs> he, he was he was always a real soldier, man. And you know what I'm saying? Definitely. And, and, and like when I say when when he came on, when DMX came on, no matter what it was, if it was D, if you heard that, 
KP coming out that cut, like, you know what I'm saying? He, yeah. he coming out that cut, he taking the shirt off and the tank top, he, you know he was in yeah. it, so he always been on his ratchet. That's why he doing his thing right now. So that shit just, that's how I know where you can, you know what I'm saying? I get what you're saying when you say it's lyricists and then it's rappers, because it definitely is not knocking anybody that do just rap and shit like that, because I fuck with it. I don't, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, and, and, and if I, you can make me goddamn, you know what I'm saying, hit that, that jig while I'm in the car. That's I, all it takes. You feel me? You, and, you know, and, and, and you know what? Third. What also killed me, bro, is I'm going to just something I got to say this, bro. What, what fucked me up about, I'm not even going to say just y'all old niggas, man. Just a lot of people that feel like, oh, well, if Paco's here, bro, if Paco's here, Paco would adapt. He's going to adapt. You can't, bro, like, shit change. Shit definitely change. You feel me? For instance, Master P, he was around when Pac was around. What did he do, nigga? He ain't still spitting that, uh, nigga, he adapted, you feel me? He got producers like Jay Slug, you know what I'm saying? I don't know who the rest of his producers is, but I know Jay Slug like somebody from Arizona, you feel me? Like, being from N.O., but he from Arizona too, and he do, like, he signed with the cat. You know what I mean? And I, I watched that nigga adapt, you know what I'm saying? He an old head that's, that's an OG in the game that was doing it, that's respected on the same level as Pac is, if not more, you feel me? So. When people be like, oh, well, if Pac and Biggie was alive, bro, they would have adapted. It, it wouldn't have been the same. They may not have been a mumble rapper, but they would have adapted to what people listen to today, or they wouldn't sell. You know what I'm saying? Period. That's just the way it go. Like, mm -hmm. So don't get me wrong. Like I said, I like I like good music. I fuck with the mumble rap because it make me get off. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the car, feeling myself. Yeah, be whatever the case is. That's what I like. And I listen to a lot of that more than I do. The life stuff, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm always doing something. I like to be feeling myself and feeling energy. Now, if I'm in some type of zone or I just want to hear some real shit, like I said, I throw in the Nipsey, which is regular. You know what I mean? And even when you, and even when I'm listening to, you know what I'm saying, anybody from TSL, it's always that flavor, but it be some real shit. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I don't really got a specific preference, and I don't really like separate myself from listening to the rapping. Just one type of music, you feel me? I, I like what I like, but like the question that you were saying, the difference, like I said, anybody can make a rap, bro. Anybody can get a pen and paper and make something wrong, put it on something and call it a rap. But a lyricist got something to tell you, he got something to talk about, you feel me? He gonna, he gonna make something that somebody else say real simple, twist it and make it sound 10 times higher. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, how, that's, that's how I feel about certain people. Like, I give it to, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm going to go back to my peoples real quick. A, B, J, D. A, B, watch the Fari. They be talking strictly real shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Let motherfuckers know. Like, if you listen to what they saying, they ain't just, you know what I'm saying, rapping. They really saying something. Right. Then you got your G Herbos who can literally tell a story within two, three minutes of a song. Right. You feel me? A whole story. Like, he got a song out there. I think it's called Mouth on his new album. Telling the whole little story, right? You know and that's deep. Feel me? And I'm gonna and I'm gonna cut you off. But speaking to G Herbo in that situation, the song he did to uh to Meek Mills B, he remixed it. I forgot what it's called. We ball. We ball, bro. That little story was, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I know what you're talking about, G Herbo. Shout out G Herbo, the boy go. Yeah, definitely, definitely. All right. So, what would you say is, uh, well, have been your biggest show? Like, what, what was, how many people came? I mean, to me, shit, if you ask me, my show, my show, shit. The one I, the one I threw for myself, my album release event, you know what I'm saying? That's the, that's the most people that actually came out for me, you know what I'm saying? Also for me type is, you know what I mean? Okay. Most of the shows I do out here is more like, Hella artists on the show, so it's always gonna be a, a nice little crowd, you know what I'm saying, for whatever situation. But I mean, for me, I'm gonna say it was my, my album release, it was actually a cool little turnout. Like I said, when my niece passed away, I couldn't, it kind of threw me off a little bit. I wasn't able to, to, to do my business and how I was supposed to do it on the all the way 100, but it turned out how it turned out. And that was my most successful show, if you ask me. Okay. 
Okay. Shit, because period, I mean, like I said, to even be able to break out of H-Town legend, shit, he, he ain't never been there as so, no, literally, Trey, Trey the Truth ain't been there as so, that's what he told me, you know what I'm saying? Shout out Trey the Truth. He definitely a real one. I mean, uh, I'm a fan. He be right. speaking real shit on his songs. Got somebody that definitely speak real shit on his songs. I don't know that. He, 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 I would say he underrated. Very. Because, like, if you, like, people probably don't be, or never heard of him, or never, like, even entertain what he be saying, or listen to him. But if you really listen to him, he really talking that shit on them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then, not only that, he a real dude. Like, he was out there. With the flood people, you know what I'm saying? Right. With he, FEMA and was and he still and was it's, pulling, it's still going pulling the people like it's you know every day. He was he was really one of the people on the boat. He ain't even posted that he was out there doing it. Like people, other people posted it, and mm -hmm. then finally got you know what I'm saying. He wasn't one of those people that was just trying to make it known that he you know just trying to yeah. you know. He really the big homie. He, he, he really the big homie in Houston. Like he out there putting in the footwork and the leg work. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, that they, they came together on some on some real ish, you know what I'm saying? Like that that's that's major, that's big, bro. Definitely, definitely. So I fuss with Trader True, shout out Trader True. Facts. And it ain't just the music here, real one in general, you feel me? Like shout out nigga number love when I was in Houston. Fact. Now do you got any artists right now that you that you trying to work with? Yeah, I am not gonna lie, so it's a few cats that once I start getting my out there, getting my features in and shit like that. I'm definitely looking at fucking with the fuck with young boy. I fuck with his style. That's actually somebody else I forgot to mention. That's new. Um, I rock I lot like his music. I actually had met OG3 at the Sauce Factory, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know that was young boy people that hadn't heard of him yet. You know what I mean? But uh that put me on the OG three two shot on him. They, they niggas go hard, that whole little camp. I like him, you feel me? I want to rock with that nigga, young boy. I definitely want to get a feature with him. Uh, who else, man? On the top of my head. Mm -hmm. Man, there ain't really too many niggas I'm, <laughs> I'm too hyped about getting a feature with. But I do fuck with young boy. I want to get, I got to get something with him for shit, show. I fuss with young boy. NBA young boy do got some. He, he, be, he be talking some shit on that. He be, I just seen a video on Instagram. Uh, he was doing like a show. And he jumped in. He was in the crowd, in the middle of the crowd with his uh, all his jewelry on. And then I guess somebody tried to like reach for his chain. He stopped rapping, all of that turned to him like, you know what I'm saying? I'll fuck you up. Yeah. <laughs> Like yeah. He like touch it if you want to, but the thing about it is he didn't get out the crowd, so I fucks with him for that. Like, you feel me? I could, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Normally a nigga he finna, he finna go back on stage and go you know what I'm saying? Like that nigga took my shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, nah, he still in the middle of the crowd right after he told dude, dude, not not no more than like five ten feet away from him. Yeah. He like, boy, you you reach for this chain again, I'ma fuck you up. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, damn, Shorty really thorough. Like, you know what I'm saying? He ain't, he ain't, you know what I'm saying, soft. Because yeah. I, I feel like a lot of people, that be, you know what I'm saying, they just be talking for the songs. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, like, they be yeah. talking for the songs, but to each his own, whatever, you know? Yeah, that's facts. Because you know, ain't no telling what nobody gonna do. You know what I'm saying? You can't underestimate nobody, so. Right. I definitely was. Definitely was like short and thorough though, because he jumped in that crowd and then one dude tried to touch him. You feel me? He, he ain't reached no more though. Yeah. You feel me? He, he ain't reached no more, but he sure he stayed in the crowd though. I, I fuss with that. So, that, that's been something that's, you know what I'm saying? Somebody I fuck with. Now, where, where is your next show? For anybody who don't know, uh, what show? I don't, you know, I, don't, tour, tour I, don't, I don't got any shows set up right now um as far as what i got coming up i'm not even sure exactly because like i said my publicist is doing some, some some work for me right now so i got a few things that will be coming <clears throat> but it's, oh, as so far as can, that you yeah. can't just give us the family to hook up and just yes. get <laughs> a bit. i mean it's it ain't really nothing to, to really spill you know what i'm saying i mean she gave me a few a few ideas that came about a few people hollering about a few different things you know what i'm saying um, 
I do know I got to get back to Houston because me and G Hush, that shout out my bro G Hush, and that's my sauce brother for life, you feel me? We got to go ahead and drop our mixtape, you know what I'm saying? So. Oh, you dropped the mixtape? You, yeah. you got a collaboration mixtape? Yeah, me and, me and G Hustle, we talked about that months ago, you know what I'm saying? But I've just been in the city getting my career back up, so I go ahead and push this next campaign. So, shout out G Hustle, we'll go ahead and get it popping the right way. Okay. Any any Phoenix artists that you've done any uh, features with? Uh, yeah, I've I done, a, I done a lot of features, I ain't gonna lie to you, with, with Phoenix artists. Uh, I've been spinning out here for a minute, so I done worked with a few people. Uh, Run Nitty, uh, Stick High, his whole camp. Uh, who else got off the top of the head? I got Charlie Castle, me and him just did some. Uh, me and TK from the South Side, we got some things going on. Dizzy G, uh, 5280 Mystic, Sizzle, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shit, it's, it's, a, it's a few trap house. It's a few cats I got, you know what I'm saying, songs with. It's a lot, actually, I'm going to say a few. It's actually a lot. Okay. I can't really think off the top of my head of how many it is, but it is a lot. Now, out of all of the beats that you've done, who would you say your favorite producer is? My favorite producer? Uh, I'm going to say Rich Grant. Rich Grant. I give it to Rich. He, uh, he produced a track with me and Mozzie. And just, he always... I mean, when I'm, I'm in the, it's between him and Mystic. I can't lie, cause Mystic got the features, but he actually produced too. He just started. Shout out to Wayne. He just started doing beats. Like he ain't been doing beats for a full year yet. You know what I'm saying? And he produced half of my album. You feel me? So you know he hot, he flexing, and they just know it don't even sound like we're getting work. You know what I'm saying? So between him and Rich Graham, I give it to Rich Graham because that's just who always. You know what I mean? Who I've been rocking with, but Mystic is. Right, right next behind him. You know what I'm saying? So I rock with them. Heavy. If I got a, a beat that I want or I need, and I know I gotta sound like this or that, either one of them is gonna call. So that's why I rock with for sure, for sure. Don't get it wrong though. It's a lot of producers out here that's hot. A lot of producers that I haven't worked with. I just just know what I know. You feel me? Okay. So now this is a question that I'm gonna flip a little bit. It's a, a kind of like a meme that was uh, posted. Um, but I'm gonna flip it a little bit. So, if if Biggie and Pop came alive and they got in your car, mm -hmm. what which one of your songs would you play for them? Just one. You get one song. One song. Eyes of a woman. <laughs> Eyes of a woman. For, for sure. those for those who don't know the, about that song, can you can you spit at least like two or three bars? That's that you feel is real, that's enough. Yeah, for well, sure. So, uh, well, it's the, the, the I get, just, just everything from when I start, like, I'm like, I find myself looking into the eyes of a woman. A lot of us, we don't betray. Shit, the teacher's something. Gotta get these women props if they ain't got their ass out at home taking care of your kids, then you get home and smash out. You feel me? Like, it's just something simple, you know what I'm saying? And it goes on from there. Like I said, the song's called Eyes of a Woman. It could be found anywhere, SoundCloud, iTunes. Google Play, wherever you need to, wherever you get your music at. Y'all heard them first, y'all heard them first. Okay. Damn, this weed good as hell. <laughs> this shit got a big hot. Hot in the motherfucker. It's definitely hot. I like to get hot, but up after I take care of business, or while I take care of business, it definitely doesn't slow me down or anything. It just relax me. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So don't get it twisted. We're not fucking crackheads, no goofy shit like that. <laughs> we got that herbal, you know what I'm saying? It's from the earth. What what Chris Tucker say? The weed is from the earth. Got to get it with me. <laughs> get you some. You got attitudes? <laughs> get you some. Fuck is you talking about? Yeah. Now have now with you having kids. Uh, well, speaking of that, how many kids do you have? I got. A son, I got a daughter, and then I got another two. That's, I mean, that's mine too. Okay, okay. Now, is it is it hard being a parent? Is it hard being well, a parent? I yeah. mean, hell yeah. And I can tell, I, I'm glad you asked that. Hell yeah, it is. It, it is for shit, y'all. Because 
for instance, that shit comes with sacrifices, you know what I'm saying? And like, with, with my kids not being old enough to fully, fully, fully understand what I'm doing and why, why I can't be there 24 7. Don't get it twisted. I see my kids all the time. Like, I'm, I spend time with my kids. They know me, they love me. But the time that I know I would like to give my kids, I can't only because I got to make them sacrifices to, to get them in a different position so I can give them more time, you know what I'm saying, to do what I got to do. But I'm not comfortable in my, I'm never comfortable in my position, you feel me, like as far as living. I feel like I can always do better. So with that being said, it comes with sacrifices, bro. When I have to leave the Houston and shit for all that time, like I had never been away from my kids for that long, you know what I'm saying? So that's part of the sacrifice I had to take. And with me being a good dad, my G, it was a little bit easier for me because my kids know, like, okay, pops should be away for a little bit, but he do love me, so he, like, they know it's for something good. It ain't like they didn't see me and then all of a sudden they don't see me again for a long time and they see me sometimes. I always love my kids, so it make it a little bit easier for me to move how I move, but it is hard mentally, you know what I'm saying? But as far as like, being hard being a parent, I, I figure it's hard to be a single parent. You know what I'm saying? Like if you ain't, if you ain't got nobody that's with you, you know what I'm saying? Like the car to be like, and your kids acting up, you feel me? Or you know what I mean? Or I need you to do this for me, you feel me? Like where the kid need this, can you? You know what I'm saying? If you ain't got that, then I can see it being a, being hard to be a parent. But shit, when you have a session, that's just what comes with it. You gotta be prepared. <laughs> Is this is just uh, what come with it, my G? Definitely. Shout out to all the fathers out there that take care of their kids. Facts. Definitely. I ain't got no kids though. I'm just yeah, man. You know, I'm yeah, you know, I'm around the Arizona boy, you you know the females in Arizona love niggas with dress, man. You better be careful. Look, I'm not. Look, they're not gonna oh, give me. Look, you know, so damn. I'm high as hell. I almost forgot my question. Uh, are you a lane sipper? Yes, I am. I slow down a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not going to lie to you. If I'm, if I'm just sipping at night doing shit, oh, I'm gone. I'm going to sleep. I might just be going to sleep, bro. But if I'm outdoors, I mean, music or outdoors something, whatever it is, I'm cool. But I slow down, though, you know what I'm saying? Because I got. I got other shit to work, but I ain't trying to have no long term for my system, you know what I'm saying? The, so the, I reason why I asked, <laughs> the reason why I asked yeah. is because you be in Houston a lot. And some of the some of the rappers that I see that you be around is like the you know, the campaign that y'all got going on. Yeah. It be a lot of be a lot of lean around, so I right. just, I know that uh uh Sauce Walker, he said I, I believe he told he said something in an uh, interview one time. He he just gotta always have every city he go to. He just yeah. gotta get it. But see, that's you know, like, that's a different level of sipping, though. Like you know, that's how I am with weed. Oh, you feel me? Like you me know, too. I've been I've been smoking. I mean, weed for so long. It's like shit. That's what that's what I like. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't need no other drug. You feel me? So I'm cool with that. Like when I said lean, it's it's kind of like awesome when I want to feel myself some more. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but if I got some trees, I'm, I'm cool. But I want to feel myself some more, I need some juice. Like as far as walk now, them niggas is different type of sippers, fam. Like that's just, that's splash town, my nigga. That's what they do. You know what I'm saying? You go up in the, in the, in the sauce, in the sauce factory, my nigga, in the lab, and you got like art, my nigga, and it just, it's dripping everywhere. Drip, like it's, it's the, the way these niggas sip is crazy, bro. I promise you. All right, man, well. I'm high as hell. We done talked about the sauce, the drug, the lean. We talked about the music game and everything. Yeah. So, uh, definitely got some kill on you. That Sherber, if you know where to get some, go get that. Valley OG. That was some fire. Wi Fi OG. That was some fire right there. Definitely. But I appreciate you coming on the show, man. You know that. That's a fact. That's a fact. Again, if y'all don't know where to go get them, the name Wo Nice 500. You can go get them all. SoundCloud, Spinrilla, YouTube, iTunes, iTunes. Spotify, all that, man. Just YouTube. Y'all go, go, go look them up, man. Show them some love. Again, this your boy Uchi Visuals. Here on the Lazy Show. <laughs>